what we really believe the approach for government for AI uh, in the near term for artificial intelligence is really about understanding what are the unique capabilities of human intelligence, the things that human beings do best, and the capabilities of artificial intelligence, and the things that machines do best, and having the wisdom to understand the things that we expect for and want and hope machines to do, and the things that we need humans to do, exercising judgment and empathy uh, and having interpersonal interactions, it is really where we see the promise today. And these technologies are mature, they are happening now. And so where that leads you to is augmenting human intelligence, not replacing it. So you think of what we've been able to do, for example, for US Patent and Trade Office, where you take a human analyst with incredible depth of expertise and nuance on understanding the patent process, and then you augment their ability to, to perceive, to understand, to analyze, to be able to sort through and heaps of data and see patterns that no human being could ever do, but you're extending their human intelligence by being able to give them those tools. And so I think I think that's a really, really promising area. And then the second, consistent with this idea of let humans do what humans do best and machines do, what machines do best is automating things that we should never ask people to do. I mean, the government has a lot of paper and requires a lot of paperwork. I think everyone knows that. And when we can automate those tasks, um, that frees up time and energy that could be used for creativity, um, that could allow people to spend more time uh, with their with their teammates and developing stronger relationships and collaborating. It can give people more time back with their families. Um, so you know where we can automate things that are that are sort of rote and repetitive. I think that's a, you know a great candidate for automation. But I think the the greatest promise of all is when we take the things that we think are most remarkable um, about our customers, which is like the insights that they have, and then we allow them to apply those insights very widely over massive, massive data sets. And that's that human augmentation uh, that I think is really promising. I, I, don't, I don't think that you know artificial general intelligence is, is really what we're thinking about or talking about. It's where Hollywood goes. It's, I think, where the popular imagination goes. But I think it completely misses the point. Where we want to see artificial intelligence is actually intensifying the human impact, not dampening it.